Joe Humphreys is a renowned fly fisher from Pennsylvania. He has taught literally thousands of people how to fly fish and improve their skills. This includes celebrities such as President Jimmy Carter and actor Liam Neeson. Joe is probably best known for his skills with nymph fishing. We asked him to share some of his techniques for nymphing as he fished the outlet of Awesome Lake. One thing with this technique, with the trailer, I'm following as the flies are swinging, I'm following the swing with the rod tip, meaning that as the line swings, the rod tip stays right with the flies as, they, as they're making their, their turn in the current, as they're swinging with the current, the rod tip stays right with it. So I'm moving the rod tip with the swing, and that keeps the flies down, and I have good movement with them. And when a fish takes it like this one, Then, I'm right on top of them because I'm in touch with the fish from the whole way through. Okay. Just took the little, little fly. It's a beautiful little brook trout. We don't all have to be big, but it sure is pleasurable to catch them. Use a little bead head white minnow off a dropper and I put a a heavy split shot above on the dropper. Then two more split shot, and then behind I trailed a wet fly. Um, so this was a rig that uh, pulled that one fish, and uh, let's see if we can do it again. It's a good fish. Mm-hmm, nice fish. Mm-hmm. Get that net. Head up. All right, we'll take him. Good job. A beautiful brook trout. We better let him go. And so what we're doing here, we're having a, we're taking a look, it's like nymphing. I let it settle. I had to get it down. Now I bounce it, lifting up and down, hand and twist, keeping them in, working them deep. And so that's another, another way to work them. So, more than one way to, to do this. And nymphing, you stop the rod high and you let those nymphs drop in first. Now we bounce them. And we bounce them deep. So there are different levels in which you can fish this. Nice fish. Now that's a run. That's a run. Oh, he's got, this is a good fish. Brook trout grow quickly on a smorgasbord of living organisms, everything from mayflies to salamanders. At its optimum water temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit, a brook trout will eat half its weight in minnows in one week. Play him off the reel. I thought he was heading for the rapids and the riffles and I finally caught up with him. I don't know how big he is, but I'll say one thing, he's got plenty of energy. In spite of their name, brook trout are often found in lakes and are also common in cold, clear headwater streams. Like most salmonid fishes, brook trout thrive in waters with low temperatures and high oxygen content. Okay, we'll try to get his head up. Once his head up, we have him coming in, uh, almost. He can go on around the boat, under the boat. Pull him back over here. Good heavens, fish. It can't be that bad. I got the head up. I had the head up. Side pressure, side pressure. 
get the head up, take him to the net, oh, yeah. in the net. Oh yeah, we'll take him. That's a beautiful fish, cradling in the net. This is why we come to Labrador, to catch these big, beautiful brook trout.